What if you could post simple YouTube videos using a YouTube search hack to find videos on YouTube that allow you to copy and re-upload them? And no, I'm not talking about free for reuse, any, I'm not talking about Creative Commons or anything like that. These are trending videos that you can use to make more money and honestly this is all on autopilot so stick around until the end to learn exactly how to earn $250 per day on autopilot with YouTube. You'll also learn how to do this from anywhere in the world and how to start earning as fast as humanly possible without relying solely on YouTube ad revenue right I'm giving you an additional way that you can make money with this that again it's automated. But before we get ahead of ourselves here if you would like to make a full-time income from your couch and you're interested in videos about making money on the internet and building an online business, consider clicking the subscribe button below and turning on notifications. So the first step to this is identifying your niche. Uh, we're going to do this by using YouTube search operators. So here's what I mean by that, right? So I'm searching on YouTube and I'm searching all in title quotes compilation. Uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is just copy this and then add in your own specific search phrase. Oh, and totally up to you, but if you'd like to learn the number one website I recommend to anybody looking to hit their first three to $4,000 per month online, then at the end of this video, I'm gonna be going over that. So stick around if you wanna hear that. Basically what this does is it forces only videos to show up with compilation in their title. Uh, and, and the reason I'm doing this is because Typically with these compilation videos, they are, uh, it, it's, it's just an accepted, uh, you could say construct really where everybody's using, reusing content to make these compilations, right? Um, it is mutually beneficial. The people who have created the content are getting more exposure. Like for example, like I would definitely not be opposed if somebody wanted to create a compilation of my channel, right? Nobody really does that with these kind of videos, but all I'm saying is it's mutually beneficial um, and and we're only going to be doing videos like for, for right here WB kids this compilation will never touch that because that is copyright and there's a good chance they will strike the video but something like TikTok memes uh, hair and makeup transformation unusual memes stuff like this doesn't really get copyright strike especially when you are tagging the original creator so we're going to try to look for um, a channel or look for a video at least that's displayed here with a higher view count than sub count or at the very least um, a difference, right? So, so an anomaly or just a video that is different from the current results. So you see here, let me give you an example, 7 million subscribers. So just to, to, give, you, to give you everything. This Chrome extension that I'm using in order to display the subscriber count is vidIQ. You can download that for Chrome. All you have to do is sign up, create the account, it's free. Uh, it makes it a lot easier so I don't have to go every time, click over, check YouTube subs, etc. And there's a lot more than that as you see. But 7 million subscribers, 2 million, 3 million, not going to count that, but 7 million views. So let's see what this is. We can try to, we can come up with a a rough sub count so you'll notice that certain channels don't display their subscriber count um, you'll notice though like like here's this is this is a small channel so this would not be a bad idea especially if they're ranking just for the term compilation 7 million views I'll be willing to bet they don't have more than a hundred thousand subscribers um, so that's a good way a good indicator for a topic that isn't super competitive right because with YouTube you're trying to compete for those topics and getting recommended as well as rank on search or Google search if people are searching for this. So uh, here's one beautiful eye makeup tutorial compilation. This is where you just go on YouTube and do search beautiful uh, eye makeup tutorial, right? Um, just go through, if you're gonna do this, just look at the videos that they post uh, and mimic them. It's very simple. Uh, and and, and Towards the end, I'll get into the real monetization method, right? You can monetize with Google AdSense because this is allowed, um, but that's really low tier, right? You're not getting a whole lot. But with what I'll be showing you, 
at the end um, or just in a little bit you'll make a lot more so we're just going to keep looking though pencil makes I don't know much about all beautiful <laughs> eye makeup um, TikTok comedy eh, I've talked about this in the past they also don't show their sub count but uh, yeah so we may not go with that one I'm pretty sure I've picked one out but okay here here's a great great example 15,000 subscribers 1.5 million views and it's ranking among three four million subs 10, almost 10 million almost 9 million so this is a great example of a channel um, that's small an anomaly and is still ranking for these big keywords so Mordecai simp compilation I'm, I don't, I don't watch I never watched this show but uh, simp compilation just just uh, basically memes of him being dumb um, so I guess it would require some knowledge on the topic if you're gonna do this but not really I mean like especially if it's something generic like TikTok. but yeah creepy episode of adventure time so adventure time 2.5 million views um, 1.5 then that one adventure time is so no one really wants to talk about so I guess this is a great topic right adventure time so that's what I would pick I would pick uh, adventure time is my main channel topic because as you see he literally has only been posting he just started posting more frequently but he has three six eight videos with 15k subs and two and a half million views on one video so let me check it out and see if he did anything else for monetization nope he doesn't have this video monetized at all so that's where this next monetization method comes in because not all the time all not always will you uh, be eligible for monetization sometimes like like with adventure time for example it could be pretty vulgar so uh, you would be ineligible for monetization so this next method to, to monetize your account the website that we're going to be using is called Max Bounty. Uh, if you're familiar, stick around because I will be going over the right way to promote your Max Bounty links with YouTube. Uh, there is a wrong way to do it and a way you could actually get your YouTube uh, account suspended. So um, stick around for that. But basically, if you're not familiar, Max Bounty is a website that allows you um, to come on and promote other people's products. Uh, you don't need to invest in the company, you don't need to buy products, you don't need to do anything. Literally, they give you a custom link, a URL that tracks all of your uh, your sales or just your signups for this example, or sales. Um, and yeah, so uh, I would suggest sticking to the free offers so you can do lead base so where people buy something. Um, but then let's go over here to search campaigns. Once you sign up, um, you'll want to come here. This is this will be SOI we want to search. Whoops. And SOI basically just means that you are getting paid when somebody signs up. They don't need to purchase anything for you uh, to get paid for that, right? So uh, it's perfect, right? We don't need anybody to buy anything. We just need them to submit their email address and we get paid. Uh, that's not the case for every single one. Uh, some of them you do have to purchase stuff and, and a lot of them they do get upsold stuff but uh, yeah we are looking for something that we can promote to our audience so we, like the example I chose Adventure Time um, I want to look for a offer that would relate to people who watch Adventure Time which is honestly kind of vague there isn't a super specific audience but essentially all I'm going to do is sort by EPC. This is basically the estimated um, the estimated amount of money that you would earn for each individual click. So they pretty much average that out to um, give you a projected estimate on what you can earn. So for every person that clicks over to the URL that I share, I can expect to earn close to the EPC, if not more. Usually I earn quite a bit more. Um, so yeah, that's like if you earn 100 clicks at 50 cents, that's 50 bucks. 100 clicks is not bad if you figure out how many Facebook friends you have. I would s uh, estimate you at least have two to 300, if not quite a bit more. So um, just to put it in perspective, I'm not saying to share it with your friends and family. I'm just saying um, 
Okay, so looking for a offer that we want to promote of uh, this Fortnite offer. Just a little sketchy. Let me see where it went. Fortnite, yeah, and uh, some of them are a little bit sketchy, like this V Bucks. Obviously, that's not, they're not gonna win that. Um, sweepstakes, paid working from home. Some of these are legitimate, but I know for a fact that these, because basically these are just private companies, right? This isn't Max Bounty themselves, these are just private companies that get accepted. So, for example, the V Bucks one, they will soon get removed from this website because most likely it um, doesn't pan out so yeah all right so let's just choose this one for now um, this is generic enough to where I'm not like you know oh here's a sweepstakes to win golf clubs when all the people there play baseball right just just to give you an example so we're gonna be picking something somewhat generic but also with a high enough EPC and we're getting paid a dollar seventy for every email submit so let me just show you the landing page that you are promoting. This is it. Take online paid survey. Sign up. It's free. Um, and yeah, you're going to create your link. So we're going to pick search for this because at the end of the day, we're, our focus is YouTube and Google search. Okay, so we're going to create our, so select raw link and search. Copying that. Now we're going to head over to bit.ly. And you just want to create this, right? So you select paste. Um, you can edit this link. I would suggest doing so. So customizing back half. Um, work from home adventure time. Your goal here is just you want to just create something that is relevant enough to make them click, right? Uh, you want to get the click, and then let's let me just show you what the actual offer is. They're signing up here, adding their email address. Um, and they can earn money. So yeah, just to show you an example of another one, here's another offer that is uh, that you can promote with ClickBank. Uh, a little bit sketchy, but basically they're talking about the coronavirus, um, which is good, it's a trend, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel too good about promoting something like that. So um, you get the picture there. We're gonna create our link that way. Now, after you have finally uh, got your link, your monetization method, your niche, your channel, you want to create your channel, right? So use a new Gmail. I already have my channel set up. So you want to set up a new channel. Uh, super simple. Let's see what his channel art looks like. A lot of people get hung up on this. Like, yeah, literally all he has is, I think it's that SpongeBob. And um, you can use Canva for this, C-A-N-V-A, if you're not familiar, Canva. Uh, you can create designs, etc. Um, that way you can just throw something up for your YouTube channel art. Just YouTube channel art is 2048 by 1152 is the minimum. So I'll just go ahead and go here 2560 by 1440. Create your channel art. Could be anything simple, just relevant to your niche. Um, some niches honestly would be different, right? So just look at the top or, or look at the channel that you're mimicking and just copy what they're doing ethically. Like don't just steal their images and stuff, but you get the picture. Same thing with your Gmail picture. Um, use something that is related to your niche and the competitor that you are mimicking. Right, so now comes the actual downloading of the video, uploading it, adding it, uh, cutting them together, etc. So you can do this with you, um, Windows Movie Maker if you have it or on Mac. I know I don't know what the default is uh, exactly because I use a different video editor but um, you can use either one of those. They're free uh, to edit your videos. But basically you are going to be looking to download videos. Now we're going to put that search operator to use all entitled compilation now we can add anything else that we want right we found our niche now we could add um, let's see I may even want to just copy this for the time being three weeks ago Mordecai sim compilation so we can do is Mordecai Hi. 
for official sim compilation. So you see other people are doing this as well, right? 204,000 views with 1,000 subscribers. So what we're going to do is we'll just literally put together a third of each. Right, so I'd copy this, head over to Y2Mate, paste, download, so we have the first one. Now we have the second one, we can do the same thing. After we, so we'll click download, I'm not going to do that because I'm not making the video, but um, you get the picture now, right? So we're just going to put each one in, download it, and then, like I said, so let's... Windows Movie Maker, right? Um, we'll use that. Obviously, if you have Windows, it's standard. And then whatever video editor for Mac, right? Um, that part's pretty straightforward. Um, once you do that, you can just go ahead and go on YouTube and just if you're not familiar with the tools themselves, like Windows Movie Maker beginner tutorial, right? Search basic things like that. Um, Windows Movie Maker is notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but um, yeah, if you have any trouble, just go go to YouTube. That's what I do pretty much for everything. Um, right, so now that you actually have them downloaded, now is when you're going to want to create your ad, right? Or create your call to action to get people to go ahead and sign up for this. So what you want to do is you can, if, if you're not familiar with copywriting, like if you're not familiar with um, like sales, writing sales copy, then what you can do is just take the a variation or the actual heading of the landing page that you're promoting. Um, what I would do is I would create a synonym for this uh, just so that it's not super sketchy, right? A lot of people know about surveys and don't want to do anything like that. So here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to Canva, let's see if I can find even just a default, um, let's just use this, get paid to answer questions, that's it, I'll make that a little bit smaller. Um, this is where you put your channel name and you can just remove that, right? Really simple, really straightforward. Um, there's a watermark here, but who cares really? You can even just delete that. Get paid to answer questions um, and then you would add some info about this. So literally then what you can do, uh, head over to the landing page, whichever one, I think it's this one that I selected uh, and take screenshots of it so that they understand what's happening. Uh, wait, let me redo that. So we take a screenshot of that, oh, it's, or you can't see it, but um, you take a screenshot of this, and then again, you can add that here. Oh, so let me just save it so that you can see the full process. You don't see me saving right now, but I'll add this image in here. And delete that. Now let's just keep it simple. Um, your goal is usually just for something like this, your goal is to pique their curiosity and then give them enough information so that when they do land on the actual link that you're promoting, it's congruent with what you're talking about. So earn $1 for free. Uh, I should actually add a little bit more than that. And get paid to answer to uh, let's, see. let's just do that since we're trying to keep it congruent. So make this a little smaller. That's pretty much how we do it, right? Download that, add that in as an overlay on Windows Movie Maker or whichever Mac editor you're using. 
And then last but not least, just add a call to action. If if this is all if you don't want to use your voice, right? It's so much easier if you are open to using your voice because then you can just use a tool like OBS. Uh, just search OBS, it's free. It's a uh, sc uh, screen recording software. Uh, and then you can add a call to action like um, earn a dollar free just for signing up. Click the link in the description to check it out. You get paid to answer questions. You see here $100.25. Uh, companies trust this site. So if you'd like to earn a dollar literally just for signing up, click that link in the description. Basically, that's it, right? Um, I just gave you pretty much the entire <laughs> call to action that I would use if I was promoting this. I may add some more screenshots, maybe of like testimonials or. Yeah, right here, sign in to learn more, read testimonials, I'll read testimonials, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You're getting paid via PayPal, so uh, it's really straightforward. Um, okay, what's next? And then after that, it's pretty much rinse and repeat, right? Um, once you, I would, I would suggest uploading at least a video a day for a week or so. Uh, and then just leave it on autopilot, right? After that, you're just gonna wait for your videos to rank. Um, I would su suggest still uploading one to two videos per week to keep your channel fresh, right? I was the channels usually kind of get limited in their reach when um, you stop uploading. I'm unsure if that's just because the videos aren't fresh anymore, so they're just not getting recommended, and YouTube or your channel's reliant on those new videos, but. Either way, follow that and you shouldn't have any problems. Now a lot of these websites, they work, but the problem is that you need to really juggle 10 to 20 of them just to make uh, even like a part-time income. There is one website that I would choose that I recommend to everyone that I meet that is looking to make money online. There's one that, that I would choose if I had to start all over again and uh, I was looking for the fastest way to go from zero to ten thousand dollars per month. This is the website, and I'm going to be sharing with that with you in a second. But before, before that, before I got to the point of having my own office, being where I am today, working my own hours, I was working a nine to five, right? I in the Florida heat, like I live in Florida, and I was working in the heat in a Tyvek suit doing manual labor working with fiberglass I hated it hated it hated it not only was I just like physically hating it right coming home covered in fiberglass dust but I every day right Sunday nights were the worst thinking about waking up and every day waking up the repetition it was just mind-numbing it went on and that, that same thing went on for so long you know if I just look back and wish I could just shake myself. It went on for so long uh, until I finally tried to make some money online, right? I wanted to give it a shot. Well, I wound up failing um, over and over, over and over. And I thought really everybody was lying. There's no way that this actually works. I was at my wits end and I just, I didn't think this worked. I thought everybody was renting stuff and faked it all. But when I finally met a few of the guys who I consider some of my closest friends today, that is when everything changed. Since then, I, I wake up when I want, not covered in fiberglass. Uh, we live in a condo right on the beach, and I can spend as much time with my family as I want. And that, again, that changed when I finally started listening to people who had what I wanted. Years ago, though, before this, I was spending, we were spending an entire year. We were renting a room in a house with three other roommates. They were a bit older. They loved to drink and smoke quite a bit, which attracted a very shady audience. It just made uh, life difficult, right? Uh, all those people there going in my kitchen in the morning was just uncomfortable. And obviously, like, sleeping normal hours was out. So, with that negative experience, before I got to where I am today, I, we, spoke, we had a conversation. I spoke to my wife and asked her, now that I'm at the point of making this full-time passive income thing, now that I'm here, where would you want to live if you could pick anywhere? And she picked the beach, and that's where we're living now. We went from that tiny apartment to living in a, part, a condo that is literally four times the size of that full thing just for us. 
Um, at this point, right where I am today, I can honestly say that I'm, I'm in a mindset and every day has been millions and leap in light years ahead of anywhere where I've ever been in my life, right? I'm at a point where I feel free. I don't feel anxiety like I did. I Obviously, not every day is just the, you know, sunshine daisies. But for the most part, when you look at it compared to my previous, it's incredible. Uh, I'm, I'm living a life where I can literally just grab my laptop, work from wherever I want, whenever I want. And so that's what I want to share with you, right? If you want to learn how to create a full-time passive income online. I know this sounds buzzwordy, but just don't let that, don't tune it out because of that. Where you can make money literally while you sleep, while you travel, or whatever you want to do, right? Play video games. I don't, I don't care. Whatever you want to do, if you would like to do that, check out the link below in the video description. I'll be sharing with you exactly how you can do that. But if you'd like to just stick to the simplicity of it all, Feel free, uh, no pressure, check out my free YouTube videos, consider clicking that subscribe button below. Like this video if you got any value from it, and let me know in the comments what you thought.